So this is going to be um, a bit more in-depth tutorial on how to get the Opt Laser and Duet 2 board and Lightburn working together. Um, I have made a video on this in the past, but it was a bit rushed, so we're going to try and do it a bit better this time. So the first things first, I'm going to make some assumptions that you're starting off with um, a work BCNC with a do it to, or it could just be a do it to board, I suppose, um, with the Ooze Nest firmware installed, which is 2.03. Um, if you're less than that, there might be some more steps. If you're ahead of that, you might need to skip some steps. Um, but we're starting from this point here. So the first thing we um, want to do is download Lightburn. You can do that from their website, um, which is here, download trial, 64-bit version, um, or depending on what operating system you have. And then once you've downloaded Lightburn, I want you to open it up. And you might not see this straight away because um, I already have something um, a device shown. Um, but we go to devices. Let me just remove all these. We don't need them. So create manually. The first Gerbil, or GRBL, because that's actually Gerbil, but GRBL. Is that Gerbil? I don't know. You serial, serial USB, and you can name it, or it will be CNC. You put in your work area, mine being 550 by 750, but it's actually the 750 by 1000 machine. Your zero, zero position of your machine coordinates, so not your home position, but your zero zero, which for the do it and work be is bottom left or front left. And then we can press finish and we can select that. And down here we've got the work B, C, and C. Um, we can minimize that currently. Go back to our web browser, head to the Opt Lasers website under support and manuals, CNC and 3D lasers. CNC software, you have the Opt Lasers G code generator, which is free. You can download that, and that looks like this. Um, and in the G code settings, if you come down to here, and you select the work be do it to, you'll see that there's a header and a footer. And what we're going to do is open, okay, can't open that, so like that. Uh, open them together, make it a bit easier. Go to Uh, device settings, change our S value max to 255, which is the maximum pulse width, pulse width modulation uh, I think you can use with the Opt Laser, I think. Go to G-code and put this header Control copy, control paste, put the footer, control copy, control paste. Okay, you can change some of these things depending on what you like, but 
I haven't changed and the only thing I change is on this line uh, is that I add an S1 code there and what that does is create sticky S's um, and we'll talk about that a bit later so we press OK for that there so basically um, from there you can start to design whatever kind of shapes you want select line, fill, offset, speed and power um, advanced settings, number of passes for a, a line if it was a fill, overscan, crosshatch you can have the scan angle change so depending on what you're going for and um, you then save your g-code but select what you're going to do first so then you save g-code yeah it might be out due to the scans but that's fine press yes and you can then save it wherever you want for the file name so I've got some here so this is a square test so it's basically I drew a square um, and export my g-code so I've changed it slightly so I've put an s0 or basically like having no s there so an s0 and what that does is it will run the laser um, for the first G1 code with a S value so 255 there which is full power and then once it gets to the next G1 code it will do nothing it will stop it will draw one line or one side of that square or if you have a more detailed thing it might be even smaller depending on what the next code is and, and what that first line did okay so I have a quick video here that I can um, put in and as you can see it only does the one side of the square now if we would change this to a G1, uh, S1 code what would happen would it would go G1 full power G1 continue to use this power across this command Full power, full power, full power, full power, end of the code. Okay, four sides, four pieces of code there. So until it said S0, which is to power off. So that would give us our square. Now that's fine. But if we added a G0 uh, into this code, it wouldn't work. So what I'll do is I'll put the video of the square working with this S1 code. And as you can see it does the square but if we were to open up this other piece of code here which has an S1 code but not the firmware update because don't forget we were still on 2.0 2.03 we need to update this to something past 2.04 where they allowed uh, the sticky S value to go past a G0 command. So here um, was just a, a laser focus test that I had. Um, but as you can see, we've got a G1 code with full power and a G0 um, and then a G1. It would only do that first one and then it wouldn't carry on to the next. Um, though they are all full power um, so here is a video of that only doing the one line so what we need to do is update this firmware and it's pretty easy really um, so you go to system and you Select this item here that selects all of these and you create uh, a backup download a zip uh, I already have um, my backups 
here. And you can also take out your SD card. Not with the power on, power off the machine. Take out the SD card, plug it into your computer, and copy the files that way. That's a really secure way of doing it. Um, and then you can always repopulate your SD card and get back to the way you were. Um, so we go first. We need some files. We need the actual uh, firmware update, which is at this website here. So github.com forward slash duit 3d forward slash rep wrap firmware forward slash releases. So here you can see the latest release 3.2. Um, I have been experimenting with this firmware. It's quite difficult because there's a lot of things you need to change. End stop configurations, uh, home and won't work straight out of the bat. And you have to do things. You have to upgrade to 3.0 before you upgrade to 3.2 anyway. And it's quite a lot of work. Um, plus the Ooze Nest work B control doesn't work with that yet. So you have to use a different one. But I'm working on that one at the moment. Um, so we go next, and here is the one I decided to stick with, which was the release 2.05.1. Then we want to download the Do It To firmware zip. Download that, save it wherever you want. That will give this file. You will need something to unzip it with. Um, in the future, but at the moment it's fine um, as it is. So I use WinRAR, but you don't need to. So you have that file. Um, upload system files. You then find the one you want, that one there, and open. Now I'll extract all those. And at the end, I uh, should ask you if you want to install the updates. Press yes. It will reconnect. Eventually. And you'll get this. And this is the do it uh, the, the the web control that comes with the kind of system basically. And I'm guessing you like the use nest one. Um, so what we can do is we can just go to machine specific, make sure we are updated, which we are 2.05.1. We then want to go to the Ooze Nest Learn portal, learn.ooznost.co.uk, and go down to WorkB firmware releases, and download that, and save that file. Oops. Once you have that, we're going to open it up, so unzip it. Inside you'll see the work B control do it to zip. And we're going to want to extract that, because that's the part we need to bring our work B control back. Go to system, upload files. Find it, work B control, do it to open. Wait for that to extract. And now we are back to normal with our new firmware. And then once you've done that, you go to your config, custom config. You can change your 
maximum speeds with that. I set mine at 4,000 millimeters per minute. And you can change your axis minima so your laser doesn't smash into the side of your CNC machine. Now this is with the laser off um, and it is like 65 on the X with your laser on so be careful with that if you have any macros or anything like that that I have your machine. Um, so thank you very much. Bye.